because if you don't, you're going to be back there being who you were. Nobody wants to go back. Nobody wants to go back to the old her. Who is she? We don't know her. We don't know her anymore. We know the lessons from her, but we don't know her. So I kind of asked God where he wanted me to go with this video. And y'all might not like it, but it's not about what you like. It's about what he told me to say. So I had to write it down. He says, it is time to take back your woman. Step away from the desire to be a copycat of these well-known distasteful Hollywood stars, which you all know we copycat. Stop being a whore to life. Letting it and everyone around you use you for selfish gain or in order to fit in. Take your virginity back. Take your modesty back. Take your tongue back. Take your dreams back. I don't know about you. I could have started shouting. Stop being a whore to life. That's powerful. That's that's powerful, okay? And we think about, you know, being a whore is like everyone has access to us. And it doesn't necessarily have to mean sexually. It does not. Like, if everyone can have access to you in your life and access to input into the things that you're doing, where does God come into place? Where does he come in if you are letting everyone and anything and anyone speak in how you should be put in how they think you should be you're not able to be who god has called you to be because you're listening to everyone else you're doing everything everyone else is doing and then you're not allowing god to pour into you and what happens is when you take away from everybody and you follow everyone else's advice and you're just like well they're where i want to be so i'm going to listen to them and you don't even know what they had to do to get there and you'll give yourself and you'll change yourself to their standards and it's going to get to a point in your life where it's like i literally have given everything and no one has poured into me and you know what happens after that you get exhausted you get burnt out you flip out you spaz you crack you break and then all those people who were telling you to do this and dress this way and do this and come out with us and try this and why don't you do that or you're young you shouldn't be focusing on that you should be out here having fun when you crack, they're nowhere to be found. And it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was following the directions you gave me and now I'm here. You need to help me. They don't owe you anything and they won't help you because their intentions were never to truly care about you. It was to get you to a certain point in life. Now that they see that you can not perform that after they've given you everything they feel as though they should have, they're going to leave you. You're going to be exhausted. You're going to be high and dry and nobody is going to come help you. But, but, but for God, <laughs> but for God, God doesn't do that. God is like, I'm going to meet you where you're at and I'm going to pour into you before you even know that I'm pouring into you. I'm going to make it so that you never get exhausted when you come to me or when you're doing the things that I'm asking you to do. God is the only person that can truly pour back into us. But he can't do that if we're out here being, like he said, being a whore to life and letting everyone have access to us and everything have access to us. We can't live like that. We're supposed to be Christians. We're called to be different. And granted, I'm not perfect at all because I've definitely done some things that are frowned upon. And he's had to come get me and be like, what do you do? You don't do this. God will come and get you if you are his and, you know, you're giving your life, you know, baptisms and all this different stuff. And you're dabbling out here. He'll let you go a certain extent, but then he'll come and get you. One thing about God, he gonna come and get his, okay? Period. <laughs> God will let you go, but so far, and then he'll come get you and be like, all right, what are you doing? Nope, nope, bring it back. And the more you fight it, the harder he hits with his pulling you back. Because some people were like, I literally was beaten down and I just had to be like, God, okay, okay, I hear you. You don't want to get to that point, okay? <laughs> you do not want to get to that point but basically i just want you to understand that this new year i'm not trying to be like one of the you know prophetic voices but i do know that when you come back into god you are coming into being a new person and right now you have the choice you have the choice to 
recreate who you are as a woman. You know, if you want to color your hair, if you want to take out your piercings, if you want to change your wardrobe, if you want a new Bible, like being becoming a Christian is not boring as everyone thinks it is. You know, you literally get to change who you are. Like, weren't those all the girly games we played as kids? Being able to change the Barbies or the Bernard dolls to what we wanted them to be. We can literally do that with God. Not saying to be, you know, gaudy and gawky with, you know, clothes and jewelry and hair and stuff like that. But you get to create who you want to be. You know, you are who you are. But then you become who you are in Christ. So this is really, I want you to come into 2021, ladies, and really take advantage of the fact that you are a new person in God. I'm definitely excited to where he's going to take me and to the things that I'm going to be doing. Um, let God minister you and just minister to you and let him tell you what he wants you to do. For mine, it's really YouTube and ministering to women. So I'm excited about, you know, the words he's going to give me. I'm excited about the places he's going to take me. I'm excited about the things he's going to have me do as well as, you know, for my friends, he has them doing music and podcasts and a bunch of different things. But Evaluate yourself, evaluate your prayer life, evaluate your modesty level, evaluate who you want to be. If you want to change the way you speak, go ahead and do that too. But really, 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 really take advantage of the fact that we're coming into a new year and you get to recreate yourself because you're a new creation in Christ. Let's stop going to what society deems is worthy and what society deems is sexy and beautiful and what a successful career is and let's sit down and listen to what god says for our own individual lives and purposes we'll run around and follow and copycat all these people and we never get anywhere and it's like but i thought you know this is what society told me was good and this is what told me was successful and i was supposed to be here and i was supposed to be with beyonce and cardi b and all this stuff no you weren't you weren't you never were you never were sometimes god might call you to be a teacher he may call you to be a nurse he may call you to be something so simple and you will find so much fulfillment in that and I can personally speak on running around trying to find the perfect career that would, one, provide me with the funds to be able to live the lifestyle that I wanted. And I just remember running and running and running. And he finally was like, I sat down and was like, God, what do you want me to do? And he finally told me, like, do you realize that every single thing that you've tried to do, you've only got so far? He's literally made me pay out of pocket for classes. And I still didn't, I still didn't go to. And he's just like, when is it going to click for you? So he's told me where he wants me, you know, not where he wants me to go to school, but what he wants me to do. He's told me. And I would have never guessed that in a million years going by the way that I wanted to do. But sitting down and letting God speak to me, he told me. So now I wasted years, literally, when I could have just listened to him and gone and been what I was supposed to be in the first place, which we're coming into in the new year. But. This video isn't about me. This video is about you finding out what God, you know, wants you to do into 2021 and who he wants you to be. So really take advantage of the fact we're coming into a new year. Really take advantage of the fact that you are a new creation in Christ and really take advantage of the fact that God is here for you. And if it is in his will, everything you speak to him that you want, if it's in his will, he will make it come to pass. So if you want a new job and he sees that, you know, and that's in your future, that he has for you you ask for that new job if you want a new car lord i don't know if you want me to have a new car or not but if you do this is what i would want if you want to do youtube lord you don't need a fancy camera i'm on the phone right now and this quality is bomb so you know lord i want to start a youtube i feel like you want me to minister to women or you told me to minister to women i need to have a decent phone you know you don't need to get up in the cameras yet like such Stuff is so available to us to really go out and to create without having to spend a pretty penny. So understand, coming into 2021, you need to find your new woman. And you need to find your new woman in Christ. Because if you don't, you're going to be back there being who you were. Nobody wants to go back. Nobody wants to go back to the old her. Who is she? We don't know her. We don't know her anymore. We know the lessons from her, but we don't know her. When that clock hits 12, she's gone, honey, okay? She's gone. 
head out. I'm not calling her. I'm not emailing her. I'm not asking her for anything. Nothing. Because she served her purpose. She's gone. She's done. You learned your lesson. So come into 2021 with a new mindset that it's about to go down and it's about to go down in the best way. That God is really sitting here waiting for you to be like, Lord, I want these things for myself. I don't know if they're in your will for me, but I'm going to ask you for them. You can get so creative with the woman you're going to be. And I'm very excited to see what that might be, what that might look like. And I hope this video inspired you. I hope it opened up a new perspective to you. And I know that I was all over the place, but I'm just really excited. Like, I'm truly excited. So I'm going to end it here. And I would love for you all to really sit down with a notebook and write out what you want to be for the new year and what you think God is calling you to do. So have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.